And with that, 2024 begins. Now, I am going to be releasing this on the 2nd of January. I recorded it on the 1st, but just wanted to give you a wee rundown of some channel updates, things that are happening. It was raining, it was quite vibey there in game, and I was just chatting away. So uh, I thought, why not do a bit of a channel update, keep you in the loop. So, firstly, just to cover all bases here. Uh, in terms of series, we have the Fallout 4 and Mark series. Hoping to have it finished before the end of March. Now, the TV show comes out in, I believe, April. And Fallout London is also coming out. And I hope to download that mod, go through all the locations with you. Hopefully they included some of Marked ones. I would love to see that and really get my teeth into it. Then, we also have the next gen update. Now, it's a bit more reclusive. We don't exactly know when it's coming out, which is both a bit of a bummer, but I'm also, like, I'm pretty excited just all round for that because I think between the TV show, Fallout London, and the next gen update, there's going to be a massive boom in popularity in Fallout 4 once again. And I couldn't be happier. Of course, I create content for Fallout 4. I didn't delve as deep into Starfield as I actually would have wanted to. I held back. I wanted, you know, because every content creator was transitioning over to Starfield. And I just, uh, I'm not one to go with the crowd if anyone, if anyone has noticed. So I opted to just stay with Fallout 4. And I went from, you know, 9k subscribers to 40k in a very short period of time. And I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, that alone was a crazy thing um, for me. And it's been a lot of adapting into it. I would love to do content creation full time. Hands down, a lot of people want to do it. Um, you know, it, it's a brilliant idea of a career. But it has taken me about eight years to get to this point. Uh, at least eight or nine years of content. I think my earliest video would have been 23. 13 and a channel no, that no longer can be accessible to the public and i've i'm sub to it and uh i think it actually still has about 200 subscribers i used to do minecraft videos way back when um if you want to delve into a bit of a story time uh, i did minecraft videos and then i did europa universalis then i went into castle story it was a wee game where you built the castle um it was quite fun um i used to game on a mac so you can imagine how tormentful my life was in the early days of gaming. <laughs> then I swapped from a Mac uh, to my first PC and then just the game changed at that point. Uh, in terms of commentary, I, I, I think I always had a knack for it. But I couldn't say I was that good in the beginning. My audio was iffy. And then when I thought to put my face on camera, that's when everything sort of changed once again. I thought to myself, hmm, that's kind of you know that's that's new then i wanted to do live streaming but throughout my life i've basically always lived in locations that has terrible internet so when the streamer boom was happening i couldn't get in on it the only thing i could do was record and put the videos up later which to be fair it suited me um i didn't think i would even be really a able to do streaming in terms of it's like oh do i have the personality i know now i definitely have the personality for it um I love interacting with the audience, I love chatting, and, you know, it's it's easy peasy for me, and I can talk whilst playing a video game, as you can see. I actually tend to flow better in my conversation unscripted. None of these videos you've seen are scripted. None of my shorts, none of the long form, none of this. I've never used a script to this day. Uh, I think one time I put notes in my phone for a more informational video, but we're still talking maybe over a year ago. Um... I don't like scripts. Now, maybe that comes... Maybe it comes off of my content that it's not scripted at times. Good and bad. But uh, I just like... I like pure organic. Like, this isn't scripted. I, I didn't even put bullet points for this, which I'm, I'm currently scrambling in my head. It's like, what is next? <laughs> but uh, I, I just love... Love chatting with you in the comments. That's, that's another thing a lot of people don't seem to understand. I actually read every comment i really do um i know i said in one short video it's like oh if it's really long you know a, a skim read to be honest i probably end up reading it anyway I, I love the stories i love hearing people's adventures and every time i heart even though i might not reply verbally to every single comment um i do make an effort to read and not only that i go back 
a couple of days later because YouTube added a brilliant feature that I can filter the ones that I've replied to or ones that have been replied to and I heart new comments and read new comment threads because there, a couple of days later the community gets involved and that's really my favourite thing. That's the first time we've stopped in this video. Um, that's really my favourite thing is getting the community involved. Um, when I was starting the memberships, I they were another thing. I didn't really know, like, do I have enough to offer a membership? So I started them off at 99p because I thought to myself, in this current climate, economically, for the majority of us, it's like I don't think I could ever ask for a major amount off anyone. I wouldn't really want to do that. But incentives have to be given for anything if you're pursuing it, you know, full time. So um, I thought early access and then YouTube added a brilliant feature that I could automate it all, which, you know, just made it so much easier. Um, I know towards the end of the year there, um, I was very sick for a few weeks and I didn't. I, I was so far ahead of myself and it was great. But thankfully, I had that buffer when I was sick. But now I'm back to full strength. So I'll be getting lots out now. What happens come February when this series draws to a, or well March when this series draws to a close with Far Harbor and uh, Nuka World? Well, after that, I'll concentrate if I haven't already finished uh, a lot of long form content for massive sections. A lot of you love the long form, and I'll let you all in the secret: the long form is the biggest revenue generator on this channel. Uh, the small videos do well, the shorts, uh, they propel me in subscribers and views, but it is the hour long, well, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half long uh, on marked locations. They're the ones that make all the revenue, and truth be told, if I was to sit, if, if I had a financial advisor in front of me and it was like, listen, if you want to do this, you should just do long form content as much as possible. But I get a, I get like a, so I wake up some days and I'll record lots of these videos. No, not these chatting videos. Lots of the location videos that you see. Uh, you know, that are a few minutes long. They used to be less than 60 seconds. They may as well have been shorts for the first 100 videos. Uh, but then I got into just talking for a couple of minutes. But then we've also got the shorts. I just sometimes, you'll see. I'm sure you know by the release date sometimes. I get a knack for making shorts. I'll make about six or seven shorts in a day. And I love doing every bit of it. Do you see that car fall there? <laughs> it's amazing the things you find walking about. I'll just grind out six, seven shorts. And they, honestly, within a day or two, like they can propel me by hundreds of thousands of views. And you all seem to really love the shorts. Um, and the majority of the audience arrive into this channel. If, funny enough, the majority watching this didn't come from the shorts, despite the overall subscriber number being from the shorts because I do believe a lot of people that subscribe through shorts they just want to watch shorts that's fair enough all you long form content lovers you know you'll probably have a a field day watching this and apparently a big seller has always been my accent um which is strange because here my accent is nothing normal nothing unique if anything maybe irritable to an awful lot of people especially from the mainland but um the core audience that I have are American, and Americans seem to like my accent on average far more than anyone from the UK or Ireland, um, because obviously, when, you know, like it's a, it's the same for me. Like if I hear someone with uh, an accent that's not from the UK, you know, American and all, it always amazes me when I hear that accent. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I wouldn't say I have a favorite one. Uh, certain states in America have really cool accents. I couldn't name them off the top of my head. Um, but yeah. So, and it's funny. I was actually in considering I'm talking about America. Uh, I hope to go to... I was hoping to go to Fallout New Vegas Day down in Nevada. Uh, TK Mantis was promoting it a good bit. I think Epic Nate and all was there. Um, a few other big YouTubers. And I really, really wanted to go. Now, I ended up not being able to just financially it just didn't make a lot of sense um i'd just come back from a vacation or a holiday at that point see the way i swap between words every so often to cater to both sides of the pond uh, wait until i do my aluminium or aluminum video i'm gonna have to, i'm gonna swap it once at the start and once at the end not swap them i'll use both terms once at the start once at the end and we'll see we'll see how everyone reacts always gets comments um yeah, I hope to go to Fallout New Vegas Day. It's the 16th to the 17th of November. 
I've already looked at flights. I've already looked at accommodations, and I've. Uh, I don't. I, honestly, I don't. I don't particularly like solo traveling, so I'm hoping to bring uh, a sibling with me. Or is that what the what the? That's an unmarked location I've never seen before. See the stuff you find when you're just walking about. It's incredible. Where is this? Near Rocky Narrows Park. What? I tell you, it's amazing. I've been over this map back and forth, and I think every time there's the cat trader. The cat trader's just there, and I missed an number. Ah, uh, I love it. I do love when I find one, and I know if I've found it before because I've I've lived and breathed this stuff for years now, and uh, yeah. Anyway, back to Fallout New Vegas Day. I hope to be going to it this year. I'm making every effort because A, some of you might be there. It'd be great to engage with the community. Two, I've always wanted to go to Las Vegas. And three, Fallout New Vegas is my favourite game. <laughs> it might come as a shock. Um, if it was made with the engine of Fallout 4, um, I think someone's trying to... Someone has done a mod for it, but I just... I, it was my first Fallout, first introduction without it. If any of you are thinking, oh, why wouldn't it be Fallout 4? Without Fallout New Vegas, I would have never actually waited and got 4 um, to end up doing this channel. So New Vegas I owe a lot to, and I can't wait to do the unmarked location for it. I've already completed the unmarked locations, but I can't wait to redo it because it's going to be epic. Okay, now we've covered an awful lot. Um, we've covered channel memberships. We've covered uh, New Vegas Day. We've covered... Um, content that's coming. Uh, I suppose the other thing is uh, the comments. I I get like I just want to share this at this at this stage because it's just funny. I see so many comments per day now. If you're becoming a content creator, if anyone's wanting to become one, I make it as simple and easy as possible, and I give as much information as to what I do at the best of my ability because you know I was also watching Fallout YouTubers back in the day um Nth Apple was a great inspiration um uh, Burr for the shorts was a great inspiration um and I you know I know a lot there a lot of them guys Uranium Fever for Fallout 76 even though I'm garbage at it and I can't even play it <laughs> I hope they get back into it though um you know there's a lot of great content creators for uh for Fallout and uh, again, hope to see some of them at Fallout New Vegas Day. That would be awesome. Uh, where was it going with all that? Yeah. So uh, all the equipment and what I've done to get to this stage. A lot of people are, you know, I have friends and family. They're like, ah, I, I wish I wish I could do, you know, this part time like uh, you're trying to do and all. And I said to them, well, I mean, if you include eight years of grueling, not really getting much success. And if you include all the equipment I've bought, and I would say with even the great revenue stream that I now have from my channel, I don't think I've broke even just yet in terms of I went through three PCs in eight years. You know, if you include all the things I've went through just to get the chance to break 10k subs, that's all I wanted. I wanted 10k and I, I just, I was like, the rest of the numbers come come as they may. I hit 10k and I didn't see it coming. It went from 10k to 20 to 30 to now 40. And we are now at about, f I would say, 41,000 by the morning that this video should release. Uh, early access for members. <laughs> yeah. So, with all that said, it's grueling. It has been. It's not been easy. From There's so many things when you create content. You've got to overcome negative comments. That's a big one. That throws a lot of people. I once had to delete a Reddit post that must have had 10,000 upvotes. I felt like a celebrity at that point years ago. And I deleted it because I think I got three or four nasty, nasty comments. Not bad comments, nasty ones. Um, it was a Funko Pop post that I put up. And it was just my collection. And ah, just I got moaned at. Now, of course, that was many years ago. So, uh... You learn from your mistakes, but negative comment, I always tell people, you know, I heart every negative comment I get. There's not a negative comment bad enough to not deserve a heart in this channel for the simple reason of the gave engagement, the gave input, and the occasional 
constructive negative comment actually improves the overall style of the channel. Um, negative comments led me to getting a better microphone, better lighting, better camera, green screen, everything. Um, well, a lot of it was, you know, it was going to happen anyway, but, you know, the negative comments helped me push more quality because audio quality was moaned about, you know, well, there's a lot of factors to it. But yeah, if you're ever wanting to do content creating, I would highly recommend just consistency. I mean, sometimes you just have to find your niche. I sat and the dawn of this channel was meant to be, it was meant to be a playthrough. Not a 100% one, not even a special one, just a playthrough. But then I noticed everyone and their dog was doing, their dog or cat was doing, right boys? <laughs> uh, they were all doing the exact same thing, a playthrough, so I thought it needed to be more unique. So that's when I came up with the unmarked locations. And do you know what? Talk about a hurdle. The first one, the dry creek bed that has the, uh, the Nuka-Cola Quantum, it wasn't even there. Because you have to do the latest patch for it to not be spawned in the ground. So I was off to a bad start already and thought, ah, oh, series is going to be garbage. Then I found a few more locations and I thought, how on here? And that original series did so well that I reached 5k subs. With terrible audio, no face cam, and the editing was garbage. I didn't have the discovered or anything um, popping up on the screen. And I thought, hmm. <laughs> oh, I, I do use Adobe now, you know, Adobe Premiere. I use Affinity Photo for all my photo editing for my thumbnails. Um, normally just bounce up saturation a good bit, and it amazes me how, how nice it makes things look. <laughs> Maybe a bit oversaturated from time to time, but, you know, wow, I need to... Oh, yeah, live streaming. That's another thing I need to talk about. I didn't look at any notes, or just thankfully... Popped in when I was getting rehydrated. This might be a bit of a loud explosion. I don't know if I cleared it yet. Oh no, I must have cleared it. Ah, there's no mines. This is the Tucker Memorial Bridge. Yeah, it is. So yeah. Um, there's a few guides I want to do to this. I'll, I'll bounce the live stream in a second. But there's a few guides I want to do that are so, so easy. Like changing your pip boy HUD color. Some people don't know you can go into your settings. Display. Go right to the bottom and you can change this. For some reason, a lot of people don't know that, but it changes your torch. So that's why I can take better photos and all, and it's not a greeny haze. Don't get me wrong, I love the green. I really love the green from the Pip-Boy, but I do change it to white just for walking about and playing the game because, you know, I just I prefer it. It just looks like an actual torch. I wish I could have the Pip-Boy green, but the, it'd be like a torch or have a torch or something like that. I suppose you can warmer and that. Anyway, live streaming. I had a lot of fun with the Christmas challenge. I'm actually going to edit it down into like a 30 minute video that you can watch. Mostly just the jump scares and the funny things with uh, chat. Uh, I do have a 5G dongle. Um, and the stream wasn't too bad. I, I am a perfectionist at heart to a certain degree. Uh, when it comes to quality, I would love the live stream, the 100% playthrough. But the issue is the quality wouldn't be up to the standard that I would want for such a long, dedicated playthrough. Because what I eventually want to do is, I want it in a playlist that if someone wants to watch it start to finish, they can do it. And what I would hate is, I would hate them to watch it at like 1080p, 60fps, beautiful looking, and then it goes to the stream one, and it cuts out sometimes, and I still live in the middle of nowhere. Now, fibre is meant to come in March. 5G for my own network. I'm currently using a different network for the the internet dongle thing that I'm using. Um, is meant to come sort of April, May. So good things are happening. I'm not really leaving my house because uh, just economically speaking, it wouldn't make an awful lot of sense. As a single bachelor at the moment, ladies, <laughs> I am, uh, yeah, currently just... Uh, remaining at home which i'm thankful that my parents have uh, allowed and enabled me to uh, to do what i do um because I, I actually work for the family firm during the week uh, so my nine to five has always been working for family uh, and i must say like at the end of the day with content creation i've had that freedom the freedom that i've had the spare time and the ability 
and also the uh, what would you say <laughs> the the grueling I, I've, I wouldn't say I've cancelled plans I've, I've still lived my life relatively as well as one could um, I've not let this dominate to the point that I'm a complete hermit but I've made sacrifices at times to just keep going because at the end of the day this is this is something I really really want to do um, in the future, I'd love to do live streaming um, with a consistent schedule. And I'm actually going to attempt this month to do that. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll swap back to that. It's, look, look at the beautiful night walking about here. Uh, yeah, so live streaming is going to hopefully become part of the channel into the future. More as and when I get the internet that the quality would be amazing to do full playthroughs. I'm actually hoping by the time I finish the Fallout 4 100% playthrough, it's going to be released a bit like the Unmarked series, just as and when. It probably won't have the same schedule, but I'll probably do maybe a location or two per video, just absolutely blitz the location, all the good items and all. Um, I'd love to do videos on main locations as well. I put out a poll about Ranger, uh, the Ranger Cabin versus Bedford Station. I'm going to do both, but everyone seems to want Ranger st the Ranger Cabin more. Uh, so that'll be good. Uh, as we Another wee unmarked location, wee diner. Yeah. So, uh, lots of things to look forward to during the year. And I must admit, my appreciation goes out to all my viewers. Everyone, every time you view a video, every time you like it, dislike it, share it comment i never say to share my comment or to share my content it's a that's a weird one i i feel if people wanted to share it to do it themselves but i notice an awful lot of channels always mention sharing i assume sharing's a big thing i've personally never really shared a play th i'm trying to think of a shirt Ooh, have i really shared anything no, I've not really come across anything where I've, I've went, uh, apart from like a funny TikTok or meme, I don't know if there's any playthroughs or, you know, if I'm watching any other Fallout creator, I've never turned around, I actually don't, I'm trying to wonder where this place is, oh, it's, it's the bottom of Easy Downs, I was wondering, um, yeah, I've never really said, I've never really shared stuff, but if you ever want to share to someone that you think may enjoy my content, feel free, uh, go for it, um, uh, yeah. So, I appreciate, and again, everyone, every time you comment, you increase the engagement and the video gets pushed by YouTube in whatever weird fashion YouTube decides to uh, to do that. And uh, yeah, I, I must admit from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate the opportunity that you've given me to uh, to create content like this. I, uh, I can't, I can, I, I could, it is basically, it has been pretty much life changing. For the simple fact of I didn't think I was going to go very far. Um, you know, you always held on hope, but eight years of, of doing it. But what did change was in the last year, I really started working for it. See, when I started this Unmarked Location series, this time around, I thought I'm going to edit it well. I'm going to speak well. I'm going to do everything in my part to make sure that this is the series. Now... What's funny is that if you combine all the all the subs and all the views of the Unmarked Location series, it's probably not even a 1% of the overall viewership that I've gained this year. Not 1%, but it has probably gained me the most loyal of followers who love the series, and that's a type of audience that I, I really, really love having, and it's a community that I love having. Um... We've had a lot of fun throughout the series, learning things. I know plenty of you are ultra completionists, and I love having those people say, "Oh, you missed this, and this was here," and you know, in the nicest of ways. And oh, Tom, have you checked out this? The tips that I've got have led the location discoveries and all. It's been brilliant, and I can easily say I have, without a doubt, one of the best communities in on the on YouTube, without a doubt. Now, this is going to be released to Rumble, BitChute. Um, I have a fantastic wee community over in uh, BitChute. I've got Solar... Solar... Eh, Solar... Solo Aris. Yeah, that one. And uh, Zero. And they, they've been very active on BitChute, keeping keeping things alive and interesting over there. And I, I post my stuff on alternative tech sites, Rumble as well, just, just in case. I like to go where people are. 
Um, I've got a presence in X. I put my reels on Insta and Facebook, and I put these videos on Facebook. Facebook seemed only like the reels, though. But you know, again, some people on on Facebook will watch this video and I'll enjoy it. So, as I said, I try to cater my best. I didn't want to just solely stick to YouTube. The site that I don't really go near is, of course, Twitch because I don't live stream that much. But maybe in the future, um, might end up going towards that one. Um, if there is any other uh, websites that you would ever want under recommendation throw it my way and i'll see if it works if it works i'll throw it in but yes yeah, so community live streams we've, we've covered a lot um 25 minutes in anyone making it to this stage fair play to just listening to the rambles of someone who just happened to be in the mood for such a video where it just you know free free ball it there um fallout 3 skyrim new vegas again series that will be coming as their revamped unmarked locations um, I have a bit of a better template when it comes to the thumbnails. I'll go through it in the short videos. Then I'll do or I'll do it in short form as in a couple of minute videos. Then I'll do shorts and, you know, then long form as well. So kind of combines all of them. Um, the 100% playthrough for Fallout, I'm so excited to do it. I'm just so excited because whilst I might not be live stream, I know some of you will be disappointed with that. It'll be brilliant for you to follow my journey as I get to actually enjoy Fallout 4 because I never actually completed Fallout 4. And I suppose I may as well tell you all now because you'll eventually, well, not eventually, but you, you might know this. I have never completed Fallout 4. Not for any faction. At all. I have barely scratched most of the main storyline because I have been doing this unmarked location exploring for so long. And when I was and I was playing other games, Dota 2, I have two other channels if you've ever seen it in the description. Um, Astro Sloth is not me, that's my best mate, he does Destiny content. You should check him out. Uh, there's Thomas After Hours where I post, and it will be more alive this year. Um, where I post the other games I play. I love RTS games, I love Command & Conquer. Um, I do play other games, so they'll be posted there. I was originally going to post the 100% playthrough there, but I realise anything Fallout related is pretty much best where the audience is, which is here. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see more of me in playthroughs, uh, Thomas After Hours will be the place to be. I also have a channel which I sadly abandoned in favour for pushing this to where it's got to, um, which was uh, my personal channel. It was Thomas Invest, and then it changed to my actual name, Thomas Greer. Um, I'll be going back to it to get it off the ground um, with lots of shorts content and long content. And it's about investing and all. Not one of it's not one of those channels where it's like bombastic. You should buy X, Y, and Z. It's purely informative and what I'm doing and showing my journey. It's it's more so for me. To see what I'm doing and to sort of talk through my thought process. A bit like I'm doing now, but I do it for, you know, companies that I may be putting in my portfolio and all. So, again, that's another channel that will be revived. So, I have three channels uh, at the moment. One stage, I was going to have a fourth. I'd l and, you know, it's funny what I would love to do. I'd love to do, like, politics and news like that. Like, commentary. I would love to do that, but that... I'm hoping to do more test the water in 2024 um, because obviously it's a very polarizing thing when you do go into politics and news and that. Uh, but that would be something. I'm, I'm never going to abandon this channel. It's, it is 100% going to keep on chugging um, and I'll get as much informative, great viewing material for it in terms of shorts, long form, everything. Um, because as I said, the community here is just fantastic and i love all the wee unmarked locations that i've instantly noticed as we've walked uh through this although i don't remember this all that much oh no i do i do i remember this now yep this is the wee chemistry station with the the bathroom scale trap love it but yeah i uh I've went on a while here. This is closing in on 30 minutes. Uh, I think I've covered everything. My origin story, live streaming. Uh, I think next time I do something like this, I probably should have wee notes so I can at least cover most of them. Um, but yeah, at least you all know exactly what shape the whole thing's going to be doing. I just, I will admit I am excited for this year in terms of the TV show. 
Oh, there's that tank that appears every so often. The TV show and uh, Fallout London and the next gen update. I, I will admit, it's looking nice. I I have a goal for the end of the year. Call me crazy. I would love to hit 100k by Christmas of, ne- of this year. Now, I don't know how possible that'll be. But what I do know in the last three months is to how hard I've worked. I've gained nearly 30,000 subs. And I know now that I can work even harder, more efficiently. I've, I've kind of streamlined what I'm doing. So I do genuinely believe that I could hit 100k. Now, the silver play button, I know Burr got his recently. And congratulations to him. He well deserves it. His content, his shorts are amazing. Like, um... I just try my best, <laughs> but uh, his his are great, and he deserves that, and I'm very happy for him in that regard. And I would love love to join him someday. Oh, before Fallout decides to crash. Well, I guess that means that I should stop talking at this point. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you all in the next one.